Hi everyone, welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to replace the thermal paste in your Packard Bell Easy Note M35 laptop. Let's begin. So first off, you want to start by closing the lid and flipping the laptop over. And then bring this slider to the unlock position. So it's usually like this. Then flip it to this. Then this slider to this side and then the battery comes right out all right the next step is to remove these two screws right here and this panel right here with the screws loose let's flip the panel out and there it's out all right the next step is to remove the ram this is pretty easy just pull these clips to the side and then it just comes right out so do this for the other ram as well and there we go all right the next step is to remove this panel right here so first you move the two screws right here and then the panel should come right out all right the next step is to remove the screws right here and right here and then remove the panel right here all right next up we let's remove the hard drive it's pretty easy this step right here just pull it to the side and there it comes right out. All right, the next step is to remove the Wi-Fi module right here. So first, do it, remove these side clips like it's RAM, then lift it up, remove the two antenna cables, and then it comes right out. All right, the next step is to remove this screw right here that holds in the DVD drive. And after the screw is removed, you can, you can take out the DVD drive by pushing down on this tab and pushing it to the left. And then the DVD drive just pops out. Alright, next up, let's remove all the screws that we see right now. So that is going to be a lot of screws. So that's going to be this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one, 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 and this one. Alright, let's go. Alright, next up you want to flip the laptop like this and you want to remove the screw right here. If you could, yeah, there we go. If you want to remove the screw right here and right here. Alright, next up you want to open up put the laptop like this and then open it up. Alright, next up you want to remove this part right here. Alright, next up we want to remove the keyboard. There we go. And then we want to remove it from this connector right here. Which is pretty easy. There, are two, there should be two tabs on the side. You just lift, put the, you just pull those this way. And then it should come right out. Alright, next up let's undo these antenna wires right here. So you just pull them out one by one so first the black one I, I'm going to do first the black one and then the gray one and they come right out and then you just undo them like this and then now they're good all right next up let's undo this screw right here this screw right here this screw right here and this screw right here
Alright, next up you want to remove this display connector right here. And then the display just like that. And then the display just comes right off. Alright, next up let's remove this screw right here and this screw right here. And let's remove this screw right here as well. Alright, first off you want to remove this connector right here, which is pretty easy. Remove this screw right here. And this screw right here. And this screw right here. Then you want to remove this screw right here. And then you can just lift up this whole part right here. And it just comes right off. Alright, and to remove the motherboard we want to remove the screw right here, right here, right here and right here. Alright, now you want to remove this cable right down here. And also you want to remove the VGA screws right here and right here. Alright, and now the motherboard should just lift out. And then there's just one more cable to remove right here. And then one and then as well one more one more cable right here. And after that, the motherboard comes right out. Alright, now that we have access to the full motherboard, we want to remove the screws right here, 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 and here. And also over here and here. And there's also a little screw right here, which you also want to remove. And then the cooling just comes right off. Now you want to unplug the little fan cable and there you go. And that is how you get to the CPU and GPU of your Packard Bell Easy Note MZ35 laptop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. To put your laptop back together, follow all the steps but in reverse order. And uh, yeah, hopefully this tutorial helped you a bit. Comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video again. Goodbye!